Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name's Katie Satilli, and today I'm gonna be decluttering my closet. So if you're new here, we are gonna be moving in the next month, so I have a lot of work to do. This thing hasn't been cleaned out for quite some time. I try to do it like every six months, but it's been a while. So if you're new here, make sure you hit that red subscribe button followed by the bell for notifications. That way you can see my videos in your subscription feed. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and I'm gonna show you my closet real quick so you can see the before. So I already took one of my bins down. As you can see, I have Dollar Tree bins up here on the top and a lot of it is Poshmark clothes or stuff for my job, which is YouTubing. So yeah, and then down here, I have a lot of mix and match hangers. I put in an order with Amazon to get a bunch more of these black velvet hangers. So I will be adding those in this video. And then my shoes are a complete disaster. I was thinking of packing up some of the stuff up here and putting it in some packing boxes. So yeah, I think it's time just to get started. So as I'm starting, I'm just showing you my moving boxes. Now we have been collecting boxes that we get in the mail so that we don't have to like buy new ones. So far so good, we haven't bought anything new as far as moving boxes goes. I've been picking them up from Facebook Marketplace. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that. I always post the things that I find on Facebook Marketplace over there and it's i'm just having way too much fun buying things from facebook marketplace question for you do you use facebook marketplace and if so what is like the best thing that you've gotten from there So there was way more stuff in this closet than I had anticipated. There's just so much clutter up there. And I do think that I need to get rid of a lot of this stuff before we move. totally overwhelmed. I have so much stuff in this closet. It is insane. I'm running, I've ran out of room for my clothes. This is like my pants. I don't have any where to put them. I just have one drawer for like holding my pants. Anyways, this is a box that is getting packed up. So hopefully I will have a little bit more space up in the top of my closet. So now I'm just gonna be putting things back up into the closet and putting things folded again into these Dollar Tree bins. If you wanna see some Dollar Tree motivation organizational videos, I have so many of them, so make sure you look those up. I will try to list them down in my description box, but I am obsessed with Dollar Tree organizational bins. I kind of am gonna show you the progress as I go. So 
These two are lighting. I actually probably need to sell the lights in here because I don't use them anymore. Um, and then one, two, three bins for Poshmark that I have listed on my Poshmark already. I'll have my Poshmark down below, but if these things don't sell within the next like month, I'm probably gonna take them down off my Poshmark and just get rid of them, like send them to Goodwill or give them to a friend or something like that. But it's just, I can't keep this stuff if it's not selling, you know what I mean? But I am gonna go through all these clothes and declutter them, get rid of the ones that I'm not wearing, and then I'm gonna put them on my Poshmark. So I have been trying to pack two to three boxes every single day for the last week. And so I have a nice little pile going in my downstairs area. Um, it is not pretty to look at because it's in the living room, but it is exciting knowing that we're getting a head start on everything. We have, I think it's 39 days from today until we move. Obviously we are counting down and we are all super excited. So I'm just labeling these the bedroom that I want them to go to. So that is one of the things that I'm trying to do is not only where it's coming from, but where it's gonna be going to. I'm just getting started on my clothes and the clothes that are to the very left of that closet are actually like coats and jackets for me and my husband I think there's even a wetsuit in there which I need to get rid of that I don't know why I have a wetsuit anymore um, but I am just gonna be pulling out all the clothes I like to do this when I declutter so that I can look through every single piece that I have pick it up touch it figure out if I really want to keep it Okay, so I took all my clothes out so I can go through every single piece and I am going to do like the home edit style and I'm going to put them color coded instead of, well, right now there's no, <laughs> there's no organization. Let's be honest. Um, my husband's side is a little bit more organized than mine, but um, I'm going to go ahead and start putting them in by color. It's going to be so satisfying and so pretty when it's done. And I, as I go through them, before I hang them back up, I want to make sure that they are something that I want to wear. So I have been watching the home edit TV show lately and I am obsessed with it. I feel like it's so much fun watching them just make spaces beautiful and organized. And one of the things that I've taken away from them is like putting things in rainbow order. I feel like it's so pleasing to the eye and so I knew after watching that show that I wanted to recreate kind of my closet clothing so that it looked like a rainbow so anyways when we move into the new house i have big plans for our closet and i really want sean's side to be color coordinated as well he wasn't exactly sure at first but i think he's on board now After getting rid of a bunch of those clothes that I just decluttered, I had a bunch of extra hangers. So I wanted to go through, replace the plastic ones with the velvet hangers. And I will make sure and have these velvet hangers listed down in my description box and in my Amazon shop because they are amazing, they are affordable, and they have good reviews on Amazon.
so I am pretty much done decluttering and putting these in like a rainbow order. I did switch out all the hangers except five of them. I ran out, so those should be in tomorrow. Doesn't it look so pretty? I put pink, red, orange, yellow, green. Wait a second. This is not, yeah, that is green. Just kidding. Green, blue. I don't have like anything purple. That's the closest to purple and this. And then I did like tan and leopard, white, black, um, like floral blacks, and then gray. I am obsessed with it. I don't know why I didn't do this earlier. I feel like it's made me realize all kinds of clothes that I have been neglecting. Now I'm just taking all of my clothes from this drawer, pretty much everything that were shorts or like summertime pajamas, I just put them into this box because I'm not using them right now and I won't be using them before we move. So I wanted to pack those up that way I could have space for my jeans that I actually wear. So you can see I'm kind of making some piles by um, color and I'm just gonna be putting them into the drawer once I'm done packing up this box. So now I'm just bagging up all the clothes I'm gonna take to Goodwill. I actually got rid of more stuff, like giving it away to Goodwill this time than I normally do. I normally just put everything on Poshmark, but I actually got a bad review on Poshmark because one of my shirts was like older kind of, I don't know. So I wanted to make sure that the things that I'm putting on Poshmark are like newer, not been worn as much, not faded, nothing like that. Um, just to make sure that people are happy with what they get. So anyways, I put that bag and labeled it Goodwill. Now I am sealing up the box that I packed with my like summery type clothes and I'm going to label it and put it out in the hallway. Now I'm pulling out all my shoes and putting some in a pile for Goodwill. I don't think I'm putting any on Poshmark this time, but um, so I'm just kind of getting everything out so that I can get it organized and put away. And it was, I don't know, it was an interesting process because I just feel like my shoes don't quite fit in this closet. So I did my best and I feel like it turned out decent. Okay, so here is the finished product. Everything is done here, except for those couple hangers that I need to switch out. 
And then down here, I just have my shoes. I decluttered them and that's a pile of stuff that I'm going to give to Goodwill. And so yeah, I just have like boots on the top and then sneakers in the middle and then like nicer shoes right there, even though I never really wear those. But and then I put my Uggs right here because I wear them constantly right now because it's cold. And then we do have one of these. It's super old and not very pretty, but um, it gets the job done. So I just put some sneakers, sandals, slippers, that kind of stuff in there. And then I am going to take some time and upload this pile right here onto Poshmark. So make sure that you stick around so you can see all the things I'm uploading to Poshmark. And then I will have Poshmark down in my description box. This is not sponsored. I just absolutely love Poshmark and I use it um, to sell my clothes when I don't want to use them anymore. In fact, I just sold today this pair of shoes. They have been on there for like a year at least. So I was really excited when I got the little email saying that they sold. Okay, so here's me putting up the stuff on Poshmark, but my camera actually died. It overheated and so I couldn't continue filming. It just turned itself off. So thank you so much for watching another video with me. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.